Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for the given matrix A of order 3. First part, we have to write the characteristic equation. So the characteristic equation is A minus lambda i determinant value is 0. Now, this will become 1 minus lambda because lambda is multiplied with i and i will have elements only in the leading diagonal. So when lambda is multiplied, we get lambda 0, 0, then 0, lambda 0, 0, 0, lambda. When we subtract with, from A, the elements of the leading diagonal will be subtracted by lambda. So 1 minus lambda, similarly here it is 5 minus lambda, again 1 minus lambda and the rest of the elements will be same. After this, we have to evaluate this determinant. By usual procedure, let's go for the expansion. So let's take the first element that is 1 minus lambda. After that, we have to close its row and column. Then we have to consider this four element and evaluate its determinant value. So let's write the determinant first. And the next step, let's go for the expansion. Then we have to take the second element. We have to put minus sign. And the element is 1 then we have to close its row and column and these four elements should be written as a determinant here in the same way we take the last element 3 and closing its row and column we get four elements 1 5 minus lambda in 3 and 1 close the determinant and equate to 0 now this is 1 minus lambda into that expand this 5 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda minus 1 then minus this is 1 minus lambda minus 3 then last element is 3 into 1 minus of 3 into 5 minus lambda which is equal to 0 then here it is 1 minus lambda bracket open that expand this so 5 minus phi lambda minus lambda plus lambda square minus 1 then when I add these two there is 1 minus 3 will give minus 2 and outside there is a minus so it become plus 2 and minus lambda when I take this minus inside it become plus lambda this minus lambda become plus lambda then here we have plus 3 bracket open 1 minus 15 plus 3 lambda equal to 0 then 1 minus lambda as it is here let's rearrange first lambda square then we have minus 6 lambda then plus 4 then we have 2 plus lambda these two when i group it i get minus 14 into 3 will be minus 42 then 3 3 is are 9 so plus 9 lambda equal to 0 now we have to expand this 1 we have to multiply with everything so lambda square minus 6 lambda plus 4 minus lambda cube plus 6 lambda square minus 4 lambda and here let's group these two minus 40 let's group these two so 10 lambda equal to 0 here minus 6 lambda and minus 4 lambda plus 10 lambda everything gets cancelled then minus lambda cube and there are two lambda squares so plus seven lambda square and there is no lambda term and this is four and this is minus 40 so minus 36 equal to zero now let's change the sign throughout so lambda cube minus seven lambda square plus 36 equal to zero now we have to solve this cubic equation using the synthetic division for that we have to write all the coefficients which is 1 then minus 7 there is no lambda so 0 and 36 and we have to always try from 1 we have to put 0 add this we get 1 add this sorry multiply this and write it here when i add i get minus 6 when i multiply i get minus 6 when i add again minus 6 when i multiply minus 6 but remainder is 30 we have to get 0 if I get 0, then this number is included in the factor. And 
since it is not 0, let's try with the another number. We take minus 1. Now, when I add 1, when I multiply, minus 1. This is minus 8 after adding. When I multiply, it is 8. Then, when I add, it is 8. When I multiply, we get minus 8. But anyway, it is not 0. Again, let's try with 2. So, when I try with 2, we put 0 here. Add, we get 1. And when I multiply and write it here, minus 5. And again, when I multiply, minus 10. Then minus 10 and multiply minus 20 again we don't get 0. Let's try with minus 2. Now when I try with minus 2 we have to put 0 here add this and write it here and multiply we have to write it here then we have to add minus 9 this will give 18 when I add it is 18 when I multiply it is minus 36 when I add it is 0. So finally the value of lambda is minus 2 but we can write lambda equal to minus 2 comma and these remaining we have to write it as a quadratic lambda square minus 9 lambda plus 18 equal to 0. Now the product is 18 sum is minus 9 so this is lambda minus 3 into lambda minus 6 equal to 0. From this we get two values of lambda. Anyway, the first value is minus 2. Apart from that, we get 3 and 6. So, these are the eigenvalues. Now, let's take the eigenvector capital X as x1, x2, x3. Now, a minus lambda i into x equal to 0. This a minus lambda i already we have written for finding the characteristic equation. So we take that as a matrix into x is nothing but x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. Now let's take the first value of lambda which is minus 2. When I substitute here, this will become 3, 1, 3, 1, 7, 1, 3, 1, 3 close the matrix then this is x1 x2 x3 equal to 0 now let's multiply this we get 3 x1 plus x2 plus 3 x3 equal to 0 this is the first equation so we have to take the first row and multiply with the first column of the corresponding elements first element is first second is second third is third in the same way, we take the second row and multiply, we get x1 plus 7x2 plus x3 equal to 0. Then third row, we give 3x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 equal to 0. Here, we find first and third equations are same, but anyway, we consider only two equations. Let's take first and second equation. So from this, we are going to find the values of x1, x2 and x3 by the cross multiplication method. Let's write x1 by then x2 by then x3 by. When we take x1, we have to take the coefficient of x2 and x3. That is 1, 7 and this is 3 and 1 as a determinant. When coming to x2, we have to take the coefficient of x3 first, that is 3 and 1, then coefficient of x1, that is also 3 and 1. Then coming to the x3, by, we have to take the coefficient of x1, then x2. So we have to evaluate this determinant, which is x1 by 1 minus 21, then second value is 3 minus 3, which is 0. And the third value, x3 is 21 minus 1. So, totally we get x1 by minus 20, x2 by 0 and x3 by 20. Let's take minus 20 common and it will become 1. And anyway, this is 0 and this will be minus 1. 
suppose if you keep the minus sign as it is then it will be as usual first will be minus and last will be plus now from this we get the values of the capital x that is the eigen vector corresponding to the lambda minus 2 which is minus 1 0 and 1 next let's take the lambda value 3 now this will give 1 minus 3 so minus 2 1 3 1 and this is 2 and 1 and this is 3 1 and minus 2 into x1 x2 x3 which is equal to 0 now let's multiply we get minus 2 x1 plus x2 plus 3 x3 equal to 0 in second equation x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 equal to 0 in third equation 3x1 plus x2 minus 2x3 equal to 0 now let's consider any two equation let's take the first and second and similar to the previous case we are going to evaluate that is x1 by then x2 by then x3 by using the cross multiplication method so for x1 we have to write the coefficient of x2 1 and 2 then x3 3 and 1 then for x2 we have to write the coefficient of x3 then x1 and for x3 we have to write the coefficient of x1 then x2 now let's evaluate the values of this determinant this will be 1 minus 6 and here it is x2 by 3 plus 2 and here it is x3 by minus 4 minus 1 so totally we get x1 by minus 5 and x2 by 5 and x3 by minus 5 since there are two minus we can remove the minus sign that is changing the sign throughout and also we can remove the 5 so this will become x by 1 sorry x1 by 1 then x2 by minus 1 and x3 by 1 so corresponding to the lambda 3 we got the eigen vector as x1 x2 x3 as 1 minus 1 and 1 in the same way let's take the another value lambda equal to 6 when I substitute here we get minus 5 1 3 1 then minus 1 1 then 3 1 minus 5 into here it is x1 x2 x3 equal to 0 when you multiply here we get minus 5 x1 plus x2 plus 3 x3 equal to 0 first equation then x1 minus x2 plus x3 equal to 0 second equation then 3 x1 plus x2 minus 5 x3 equal to 0 we got the third equation so here we can take any two equation and using the cross multiplication method we are going to find the values of x1 x2 and x3 simple ratio so x1 by then x2 by then x3 by when you are taking x1 you have to take the coefficients of x2 1 minus 1 then 3 and 1 then for taking the x2 you have to take the coefficients of x3 then x1 then the third one we have to take the coefficients of x1 then x2 and we have to evaluate this determinant and this gives x1 divided by 1 plus 3 which is equal to x2 divided by 3 plus 5 then x3 divided by minus 5 and here the last value is 1 minus 1 so it will become plus 5 plus 5 minus 1 so totally we get x1 by 4 equal to x2 by 
8 equal to x3 by 4 and we have to take the simplest ratio by dividing by 4 this will give 1 and this will give 2 and this will give again 1 therefore the eigen vector is 1 2 and 1 corresponding to the lambda 6 so finally the values of the eigen vector we found so here the eigen values are minus 2 and 3 and 6 then we got three eigen vectors so one is minus 1 0 1 which is corresponding to lambda equal to minus 2 then we got another eigen vector let's take it as x2 which is 1 minus 1 and 1 then last value x3 which is 1 2 and 1 so we got the eigenvalues and eigenvector for the given matrix of order 3.